Hello everyone and welcome back to another stream. How are you guys doing today? Hope you're all doing very well. So, how are you doing, Semi, Shakira, everyone else? Welcome back, because the chat seems to be working um, this time. All right, apparently there's an update. So, uh, we'll just quickly do that and it's done. Right, let's pop into the game, shall we? Exciting times playing Subnautica. I've not played it in a little while. Got some tea brewing at the moment, should be done soon. It's in a good stretch. Like I said, I need one of those um, sort of medieval torture devices which stretches you, that, <laughs> but not too far. <laughs> that would be useful. All right, so we're seven hours, 46 minutes into our hardcore um, playthrough on our very, very nice pimped out Cyclops, I recall. Thank God chat's working, yeah. Uh, that kind of sucked, but that didn't work last time. We need a prawn soup. We don't have a prawn suit yet. Yeah, we could definitely do with a prawn suit. Um, and I think we need some upgrades for the sea moth. We're gonna go around and get some supplies at the moment. Um, what else do we need? We need... Yeah, I think we just need supplies mostly. We definitely need to go get some supplies. Go explore some more, more areas. Um, get that prawn suit. Start upgrading it to get a moon pool. Um, we don't... well, we have a base, it's just... Or is that the base from the last playthrough? What does our current base look like? I can't remember, all I can think of when I think of the base is uh, the one from the last playthrough. Can't remember. Uh, I remember the Cyclops, what do we call it this time? Something to do with the ship, a pirate ship? Some, no! 
Wasn't the evil Larry? I think we called it the evil Larry. That's what we called the ship. But what did we call the prawn suit? No, not the prawn suit. Seamoth. I don't think we named it. Because we didn't have a moon pool. Or we didn't have the docking thing for the... I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. It's been so long. It's been so long. Oh. Emergency power only. Oh. Oxygen production offline. Oh. That's not good. I've had so many issues with Twitch over the years. No matter what they do, I don't think you'll ever perceive what Twitch. You'll ever perceive Twitch as working properly. Yeah, there's always something going wrong. Oh, I could do like a neck massage or something. Just so stiff everywhere. Come on, load into the game. Ah, here we go. Oh yeah, we have um, a repulsion cannon. Because we found that uh, thing with it in. And what, we're by the... Well, I see something which is on the surface. But honestly, I have no idea where we are. Um, so pretty close to the surface. Is this that? Is that the mountain biome or the floating island? That's the floating island. Okay, so... Why are we here? Oh, we need some more mob melons, didn't we? I think we got them. No, Chinese potato, that's what we wanted it for. Okay. Um, what else? So we've got a sea moth. There it is. We've got one module for it. Uh, we could definitely do with a few upgrades. Definitely. And we need a decent source of power. So we've got some more plants here. Um, we've got the coffee machine. We've got the snack dispenser. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, we still have to our inventory. Water, salt, cured food, power. So in the power chest we have nothing. But we have one slightly dead battery and two fully charged ones. So we could put a slightly dead one and keep one fully charged one on us. Uh, we've got an ion cube, we've got a thermoblade, and we've got one disinfected water. So ideally I'd like to have, well, two water on me, but wait, that's a salt chest. Okay, two water, good. And we have a um, purple tablet. So, uh, what we're gonna do is, uh, I'm, I'm trying to remember where the hell our base was. Ooh, ultra glide fins. Two silicon rubber, titanium and our old fins. What, what we got? Okay. Was it two silicon rubber? And some lithium. So two silicon rubber, one titanium, one two two lithium, no one lithium, two um what's it called, you know the thing. So one of those, uh, one lithium, and I don't think what oh my spinning, I don't think we have the uh, two. Thingies, so I'm going to go check the bottom because I don't think we have a chest for those yet. So locker one, aha! Two silk and rubber, good. I think we're going to need a lube chest. So we're just going to go over here. Uh, we have to unequip our fins. There we go. So what we're going to do is upgrade them to the ultra glide fins. Nice. Good. Ooh, ultra high capacity tank. We have a high capacity tank, so one lithium should be enough to get the ultra high capacity tank. Okay. I think we should do like a bunch of upgrades. Really get everything like up to scratch, you know? So ultra high capacity tank. Oh, four lithium, sorry. I just saw lithium and um, I assumed it was one. Though I did think it was rather cheap, so. Well, the lithium makes more sense. Although lithium's actually pretty easy to get. Uh, ultra high capacity tank. Ooh. Death module mark two. Hmm. Okay, uh, plus steel ingot, two magnetite and one enameled glass. Ah, enameled glass is gonna be the problem. But we have an ultra high capacity tank now, so that's 225. Uh, we don't need the radiation suit anymore. What we do need, though, is, um... Oh. I've already got a repulsion cannon. 
Air tank upgrade, survival knife, got the thermal blade. Uh, Cyclops. We don't have the ingredients for that. Okay, so we can get some stalker teeth. Oh god, kyanite. Yeah, it's gonna take a while. Okay, we're getting some stalker teeth. What about um, suits we can make? Compass. Displays the compass heading on the hood. Well, that's useful. We do have a rude breather, right? Yeah, okay. Um, radiation suit. No, we need um, the reinforced dive suit. Oh, I can make another purple tablet. A light stick. Depo deployable lighting. Propulsion cannon. Stasis. Oh! Stasis rifle. Computer chip battery titanium and magnetite. I don't think we have a stasis rifle right now. Um, and what was. I don't think, even think. Is that a laser cutter or a repair tool? We don't even have the bloody ingredients for a laser cutter. Okay. We're gonna need a lot of stuff. We're basically horribly low on a lot of things and we need to sort this out. So, for a laser cutter, we're gonna need... I think that's our last table coral sample. No, no, we're good. Computer chip. How do I make a computer chip? I've forgotten how to make... Well, we did need some magnetite. Um... I want to make a stasis rifle. Okay. So. Ha right, we need a computer chip. So let's go see what we need for that. So it's um, gold and copper wire. Okay. I don't know how much copper we have. Gold and copper wire. Well, that's gold. Got that. Uh, copper. That's silver. That's silver again. Copper. Oh, we have enough for some copper wire, that's good. Okay, so if we go over this way, we might be able to make a stasis rifle. Maybe. We shall see, and I a cup of tea should be ready now, by the way. Tea hype! T T T. Okay, so personal tools. Stasis rifle. One titanium. Okay, I wonder if... See, it's something which can happen sometimes. Now, it's either this thing's usually, uh, if you put a 1% battery in to make something, it'll be 100% when you make it. Uh, so we'll try this. Uh, titanium. Right. Let's grab some of that, and hopefully we should make a stasis rifle. So we're going to do that now. Stasis rifle! Ah! Nice. So this is going to be extremely useful. Yeah, it's 100% charged. Right, so I can grab um, one of these batteries. As a spare. As a spare battery. The stasis rifle is fun, though. Motivational note. Craig McGill crash landed in the acid swamps of Boreal 9, fought off arachnid kidney poachers, and hijacked a tame Star War. If he can do all that, you can survive one more day. Thank you, Doris. Thank you. We've got a stasis rifle! How exciting! But first I'm going to make some tea. Uh, right. Um... Oh crap. Hang on. Oh, this is bad. Uh, I forgot to replace my bin bag, so I need to put the tea bag down um, here. Right. Uh, getting tea everywhere. Bear with me. Just a moment. Oh god, this is messy. It's all because I didn't bring a bin bag up. No. There we go. Right. Almost done. Bear with me. Do a quick stir. There we go. Just pop that down. Hey! How you doing, uh... Krillio? Krillio? Welcome to the stream. Also, hey, Jop Jop, how you doing? Welcome to the stream as well. You call her Doris. Interesting, yes. 
I call her Doris. It is Doris. Most of the time I'm saying, shut up, Doris. Or fuck off, Doris. I know Doris. Don't need to tell me, Doris. Um, kind of like that. Right, what the bloody hell am I doing? Right, we've got to stay... We need a laser cutter. I think we've got everything we need from there. So we need to find a laser cutter. See, it'll be one of those things where... Um, you can never find it when you need it, but when, once you've found it, there'll be a ridiculous amount of uh, laser cutter fragments everywhere. Ah, Doomtopia. Perhaps we can make a moon pool and... Do we even have a... I don't know if we have um, a vehicle modification station. <coughs> Slowly dying. <coughs> On tea. That'll, that'll be the enemy, by the way. Um, choked on tea. <laughs> or something. So yeah, this is called the Evil Larry. It's our name of our Cyclops. It's a pretty good name for a Cyclops. The Evil Larry. Lovely. Okay, um... Now, normally you can find a power cell charger thing around here. So it might be worth having a little bit of a look. Hmm. Yeah, we could have a poke around. Okay. And we've got the Ultra Glide fins now. So, it should be pretty fun. Oh, no, not that again. No. I hate when it does that. Right. It's quite loud, isn't it? All systems online. Ball systems online. Balls. Okay, so we'll just have a quick poke around. See what we can find. Is there any fragments or. What <laughs> the hell? If you keep this up, you will go far in the evil horde of the Doom Vision. You are promoted again to the very evil henchman rank. Wakey wakey shaky bakey. <laughs> what the fuck? That scared the crap out of me. Uh, thank you very much for the resub bit offline. How you doing? Five months. You are now a very evil henchman. Ooh. It's better than an evil henchman. A very evil henchman. Wakey wakey shaky bakey. Yes. Alright, cheers. Just about, I do appreciate it. Some lovely resubs. We can see a bit of salt. We could grab some salt. I mean, later on it's not really... Oh god, I hate that. Um, it's not particularly important to um, have the salt, but it is useful in making um, disinfected water and curing food. Though, really, you can just live on marble melons and bulba tree samples. Forever. Ever and ever and ever. Uh, just to get the words there. I forgot how to speak, by the way. Hey, Mavin, how you doing? Welcome back to the stream. Welcome back. You seem to know when to tip, uh, trip the alerts. It's, it scared the crap out of me, because I think um, that was the one where I forgot how to do an evil laugh, and it came out a bit weird, and that scared the crap out of me, because I didn't know what was going on. I heard a weird noise, I was like, ah, what is this? What is this? Though I did pretty much record uh, the two month one to the uh, eight month one back to back. So, uh, during the five month one, I was like, I forgot how to do it. How do I do it? How do I do it? Hey, welcome back, Matt. How are you doing? Is this like super la. Ah! Okay, another thing is why I scared the crap out of me it was because uh, my volume was super loud on my headset. That'll, that'll do it. I was wondering why the game sounded so loud. I was just going around gather gathering some materials. All that fun stuff. Yeah, like we don't really need to take the um, thingy. The evil Larry. Oh, just shit. We'll just um, pop around in our uh, sea moth. Grab some stuff. Maybe even find some. Uh, what are they called? Blueprints? Fragments? Yeah, something like that. Because it's pretty safe around here, so. 
shouldn't be much to worry about. Though we are approaching the uh, thingy biome. I've forgotten the words for everything. It's been that long since I've played this. It's not even been that long, it's been like a week. And I've forgotten the name of every single bloody biome and item in this game. Now, we are approaching warpers. Warpers are pretty dangerous. Uh, but... I think we should be okay. Hello, is that a, is that a wreck? I don't think it is. Oh, we've got, got another message. Yeah, I think there's a wreck over there. Hmm, I wonder if we've been to it yet. I wonder if there's something we need there. Now, we do need to be very careful of the warpers. They are very dangerous. Hey, Shadow King, how you doing? Welcome, welcome back to the stream. Let's not get murdered by warpers. They will kill us horribly. Um, it's right behind me, and I've got to keep moving. Just keep moving, just keep moving. We're infected, they're gonna try and kill us. Keep moving, we're gonna die. Holy crap, keep moving. Go, 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 go. Just keep moving. Oh dear. And we're not safe when we get an RC moth either because they can teleport us out. Right, just keep moving and we should be okay. That's generally how I combat war uh, warpers. Just keep moving. Okay, I could probably park here. Like I said, just keep moving. Now there are ghost leviathans in this area and I don't know where they spawn. Literally no idea because they were kind of added. They're still kind of new to the game, so... I've not really had much chance to learn their spawn points, uh, but we should be okay. Unless one comes out the floor, like right here, like, oh ho ho, you thought you were going to go through here without spawning against the fire, then did you? And then we're like, fuck, we're, we're doomed. Exactly like that, by the way. Ooh, I've heard that one. Oh, ow. So that's what happens when a warper finds you. Bad things happen. Ugh. Uh, keep moving. It didn't hurt that much. I thought it'd hurt more. I swear they normally hurt more. Maybe that was just a scratch. Another, I don't need another bloody moon pull part. I need an office chair. That's what I need. It's a ghostly leviathan wreck. And we're going to die. Acquired. Acquired. There's a thing there, but I'm, I suspect it's probably a... Um, I've got a scanner room. I've already got a bloody scanner. Well, I haven't built one, but I have the scanner room fragment. Thermal plant. Do I have a thermal plant? Yes, yes I do. Ooh! <gasps> Sack up step module mark one! Nice! That's just what we needed. Acquired. Acquired? Okay, let's um let's pop up here. A bit of tea. And move a bit closer to the wreck and actually go inside of it. Now we might not be able to get in because we don't actually have a laser cutter. Uh, but there will be areas where we can get in. Even if we don't have one. Might use this for some sort of rudimentary light source. Nah, -ah, yeah, see that? We can't get in there. Uh, but there still might be some decent stuff we can scan. So this this is, should all be uh, wreck, the wreck of the Degassi, I think. What's this? Is that a moon pool or a scan of moon pool? Got one of those. Okay. Now we couldn't get into that room, but there still might be another way in. Acquired. Yeah, that's what I keep saying. Ac acquired, because that's what she's saying. Not not acquired. Acquired. Okay, so. Hmm. Oh no, my inventory is full. Or oh, swap out titanium for quartz. Okay, uh. Right. Oh, what's this? Yeah, there may very well be another way in. How? What? I think there is right there. Let's uh, poke around the side and see what happens. Ah, choir. Choir. D. <laughs> Ack wired. I think I think she's saying Ack wired. Can we slip in there? No. Okay, there must be a way to get to the other bit which is blocked off. 
even if it is quite a longer, more complicated route. Hmm. I wonder. So we came in from above, and there's also an exit. And I, I, okay, we got ourselves in a bit of a spiky situation there. Um. Okay, so we go in from above and underneath. Is that a prawn suit drill arm? Because I bloody hope so. Oh. Yes. Oh, we're now about to be attacked by a thingy, so let's keep moving. This is not happy. It's not happy. Please go away. I just want to scan this. I want to find the cure. Where is it? Ah. All right, let's go. We've got the drill on. Excellent. So we've got the setup step upgrade, and we've got the drill on for the prawn suit. We still don't have the mobile vehicle, not the mobile vehicle, um, vehicle modification, um, oh god, it does not sound happy. Oh shit. This is bad. Uh, where's the copper? Copper! Gotcha. Yeah, that did not sound like a very happy, um, warper at all. Also something very spooky over there. Probably was. Alright, let's go. Let's not crash into those either. Um, last time I hit one of those they didn't actually explode yet. But apparently they're meant to explode. So um, yeah, might not be a good idea to crash into those. Alright, let's head back to the base. Excellent. Evil Larry. Lovely Cyclops. In we go. Oh, we could upgrade the uh, uh, depth thing. Systems online. Seek fluid intake. Fluid intake? Fine, I'll have a marshmallow. Oh crap. <laughs> I forgot. My inventory's full. Shit. Um. Quartz. Uh. Glass, no copper, yes. Uh. Silver? Don't think so. Gold, yes, I think there was. Oh no, we did have some silver. Just slowly filling these back up. Uh, diamonds, no. Lead, I think so. Yeah. Uh, lithium, one. Titanium rubies, uh, gel sacks, uh, membrane trees, that'll be under seeds. I think we. Oh, we don't have enough room. Okay, uh, well, if we take the full gel sack and put that somewhere else, it should be okay. Right. Okay. So just go over this way. Uh, should be able to pick up a couple of those now. So we can see this and this. Vital signs stabilizing. Uh, check this one. We'll plant four of these. And we have a couple of Chinese potato plants. Delicious. Maybe a couple of lantern fruit. Still quite thirsty though, so maybe we'll top it off with the. Oh dear, our bulbo tree exploded. Um, right, so we'll plant one of those, but we'll eat this one. Okay. It's a male GLaDOS. Who's GLaDOS? Um. Right, we've got some titanium we'll put away first as well. Sorry, I'm just like super concentrating right now. Uh, ah, that's full. Okay, what about this one? A. Hey. Okay, rubies. I'm not sure where we're putting those yet. I'll put the gel sacks down uh, in the basement. So just pop down here. Like I said, we need more chests uh, for sorting. Okay, uh, this one. I've got a few rubies as well. I'll keep the ion cube in, these, in case I need to open a portal at any time. But we have a message. And I think it might be the sunbeam. And the countdown might start. Aurora, we're approaching the planet now. We have a landing site for you that's. Well, it's better than the alternative. Thank you very much for the host, Nathan. We've How sent you, you the coordinates. Welcome back. 
It'll take us a couple of days to align our orbit. We should be able to establish direct contact with you during that time. Then we're coming in to get you. Cross your fingers, the weather holds. And don't leave us waiting. Sunbeam out. Oh shit, so I've got the countdown now. For when the sunbeam arrives. Welcome, yes, welcome. Okay, um... Still need the laser cutter. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. We can now make the da- Ah, it's a plasteel ingot and three rupees. I think we can do that. Now, a plasteel ingot uh, will be a titanium ingot. Plus, I think it's now two lithium? Let <laughs> Looks like we need some more lithium, too. Right, um... Okay, let's do that. So we're gonna make a plasteel ingot. Was it three rubies? I think it was three rubies. So, um, it's Shadow, he's betrayed me even more. <gasps> How dare you! I definitely condone that behaviour. It's very, very bad. You should go back to the other stream. <laughs> uh, anyway, um... Three rubies. We need to go get some three rubies. Just got here and you did see uh me streaming. And you've just called me your father for some reason. I don't I I'm very confused. <laughs> uh one ruby. Ah oh, ah. Oh. Two rubies. Ah oh, ah. Oh. Three rubies. Ah oh, ah. Oh. Okay. Do 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 do, do, do. I'm the fa oh my god. Um Right. Let's see. What the hell oh I was about to say, what the hell am I doing? I'm going this way. I just remembered. Just remembered. I see. Snappy is your father, I, I understand. I understand. We have to upgrade. Hype! Hype, hype, this is where we've already got one. <laughs> right? I don't even know if we do. We have engine efficiency, okay. Ooh, we, we could previously go maybe 500 meters down, but now, ho 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 ho, now we can go 900 meters down. The crest depth has been increased and we can now go to the lost river biome. So spooky. Um, let's have a, have a coffee. But who's your mum? I, I don't know. I don't know. It's not me. It's not me. Cookbook completed. Coffee completed. Give me the coffee. Although I wish they had tea. Coffee Americano. Real Italian espresso diluted with tasteless American water. Lovely. Okay. Um... <laughs> So, in case you didn't realise, a sunbeam will arrive in 36 minutes. Alright, let's sleep. Oh, hang on, we've not slept in a little while. Let's give her a cheeky sleep. With all the lights on. That's fine. The sunbeam will arrive soon. Oh, it skipped forward a bit when we slept. Ah. I forgot I did that. Oh, look, there's even a thing for it. That's awesome. Sunbeam landing site. I'm gonna get a good view of that. The sunbeam. Sun, sunbeam. Yeah, we need to uh, get a laser console because we've not been into the other half of the Aurora yet. Because I can't remember where the hell you find any la any uh, laser cutter samples. So. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I honestly can't remember what our base looks like. I have no idea. I'm thinking of the base from the last game, but I... Well, we have a moon pool, apparently. I don't remember making that. Uh... Okay. Well, there's Life Pod 5. There's our mobile vehicle... Bay? Ah! Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember now. Very simplistic. 
I will park here. And... Huh? I can't remember why we parked here. I really can't remember... Are we going to charge our... I can't remember why I came here. I've forgotten. Oh no. Oh. Oh god. My face is changing before my very eyes. What is this madness? What is happening? Laser cutter samples? Yes. We need laser cutter Welcome aboard, Captain. blueprints. Fragments. Samples of laser cutter. So pretty much all these reps, right? The oh yeah, we had the office thing, I remember now. And down here was empty. It's a bit, sh a bit of a shit base, isn't it? Uh, how do I- do I have the thing for a mobile thingy? Not a mobile- what's it bloody called? Um, sorry, I'm like really tired right now. Vehicle upgrade console. Oh! Three titanium and computer chip and copper wire. That's actually really cheap. Three titanium and like, a computer chip and copper wire. Alright. That's- that's doable. Doom is stepmom. Okay. Well, I'll- I'll be a stepmom. Um, systems online. So we're gonna need two table coral samples. Uh, is it three titanium? There was someone near IP17. What the bloody hell's that? Um, three titanium and some copper wire. Okay, so we're gonna need two lots of copper wire actually. So three titanium. Uh, copper. We need four of that. And one gold. Alright, I think that's enough to make. Yes. Two copper wire, one computer chip, three titanium. We can do that. LP, what 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 do you mean? LP seventeen. Oh, life pod seventeen. Right, why don't you just say that? <laughs> We don't need to go in there. We need to. There we go. Vehicle upgrade console. We'll take the um, seam off with us. We can do some upgrades. Okay. Right. So we'll pop down here. All systems online. Park. Ooh. In here. Oh, we, we can name it. So we have Evil Larry as the name of our lovely. Uh, Cyclops. So, what are we going to call our prawn suit? Which is apparently trying to escape when we're not looking. Not prawn suit, sea moth. Bloody hell, I keep mixing them up. Okay, uh. It shall be named. Evil. Has ever e evil. Hmm. Evil Larry. Evil Barry. There we go. <laughs> Evil Barry is now this one. This is Evil Barry. <laughs> okay. The interior shall be... Ooh. Red. Like a dark red. Stripe one? Hell yeah, it's gonna be grey. Why is it blue? That's not grey. Hey, Insign to Men, welcome back to the stream. How you doing? Let's, uh, let's make that actually grey. Still kind of looks blue. It's Evil Barry. Or maybe the interior could be grey and the stripe could be red. Hmm. Uh, LP stands for long play. It's another word for album. It's longer than a single. Also longer than an EP album. While um, blah, 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 takes a very long time to read. Um, let's make this grey. So the interior shall be grey. Stripe 1 shall not be grey. It shall be red. There we go. It looks more brown than red though, so let's bring up bring it up here. Hmm. Okay, it used to be like really vibrant, but you know what? I like this. Evil Barry. <laughs> and it's fine. Prawn suit could be evil Mary or Harry. Evil Harry can be the prawn suit. So we've got evil Larry, evil Barry, and evil Harry, okay? <laughs> These are the names of our things. I have to say, it's looking shiny as hell. I like it. 
Looks good. Okay. Especially at the back. Look at that. That is a nice rear end. That's a very nice rear end. In fact, I am going to take a screenshot of that fantastic looking rear end. That's a nice looking rear end. There we go. That should be without. Yeah. I hate having the um, goggles on when you're playing it. It's annoying. Evil Barry. I like it. Now, what could we make? Uh, we could do whole reinforcement. Ooh, we need a few diamonds for that to make it harder. Um, engine efficiency. Polyaniline. Damn. I think we've actually got some blood oil, though. Storage module. Hmm. Yeah, we don't have any enameled glass. Not at the moment, but we can get some aerogel for a torpedo system. A sonar. Torpedoes. Gas pods are really hard to get. A vortex torpedo. Uh, generates a localised gravity distortion. Load this into a vehicle. Torpedo bay. Damn. Yeah, and that's like way later on in the game. So, hmm. Engine efficiency sounds good. Byproduct heat to minimise power inefficiencies. Heat byproduct. Uh, I think we can make some polyaniline. We just need to start growing some uh, thingies. Dutch booty. Yeah, look at it. Look at that rear end. Oh, it looks good. Looks good. <laughs> I wish we could take pictures of all the nice rear ends you see. <laughs> uh, okay, um, we're gonna need a lot of stuff. We need to do a lot of upgrades. So what are we gonna need? You know what, I don't know why I came up here first because I want to go back down. Oh, hang on. Hang on. I think there's some blood, I've got some blood oil I think. Uh, and I want to grow some more. Aha! Blood oil. Yeah, I want to start a garden. Um, we'll, we'll grow two. We're gonna need some titanium. Let's grab some titanium because we'll, we've got twenty minutes until the sunbeam arrives, so we've got plenty of time. Let's um, gonna build, build some platforms and a garden. Okay. Lots of lovely stuff. We're going to seeds as well because there's a lot of things we need to grow, which uh. Ooh, jelly shrooms. I think we want to grow uh, blood oil and kelp next to each other. Acid mushrooms, jelly shroom. Hmm. I don't know if you can actually grow fungal samples. I don't think you can. Because that's in shrooms. There's another one. Seeds. Ha! Grow some cave bush. Gel sacks. Hmm. Okay. Uh. Bulb bush sample. And we'll take we'll take another small one. Like uh. Know, do we have any more gel sack seeds, or is it just the one? I think it's just the one. Hey Donna, how you doing? Welcome back to the stream. Sorry if I seem like really tired. Um, it's because I am. Uh, that, that'll explain it. Why do I sound? Why do I look like I'm really tired? It's because I could literally fall asleep at any moment right now. I'm really tired. I don't know why. Um, right, so we want to put down a building piece. Oh, you need lead now. Okay, let's bring it down. Oh, oh, okay, it's going right down there. Right, we'll need two lead. I think we've got two lead, so that shouldn't be a problem. That reminds me that Wednesday you'll be going to northern Germany again. Oh, I see. How can we go into northern Ger Germany? A tired pigeon. Oh no, yeah, I know. I, I really, I'm so fucking tired right now. I'm just going to fall asleep at any moment. I, I don't know why I'm so tired. I'm just really really tired for some reason Seek fluid intake. and I'm normally like super like um, energetic and stuff during a stream but I just 
feel like my eyes are just getting heavier and heavier. I'm just gonna Vital fall asleep at stabilizing. any moment. Um, it's kind of, it feels like a bit. Sorry. Um, <laughs> I need to wash my face or something. I can't, I can't. I'm gonna fall asleep, guys. <laughs> I'm gonna fall asleep. No, wake up, wake up. This is really strange. This is, I don't think this has happened in, during a stream before. Enough tea. I don't know. Keep my eyes wide open to stop myself falling asleep. I had enough sleep last night, so I don't know why I'm suddenly feeling like super tired. It's really weird. So why is this happening? I don't know, guys. Some weird thing is happening and just suddenly feeling super tired. Farming alien plants Strange. is a proven survival strategy. Oh. Craig McGill survived 47 months. What on about a Craig Goddamn McGill? What about our character whose root. name is still a mystery? Let's, let's get some lovely blood oil in there. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna grab a couple of. Uh, I know there's a kelp forest right here, but it's just useful to have it even closer. So I'm going to grab a couple of these. I'm gonna grow our own. Ooh, hang on. We'll have two of these, and we'll grow our own just creep vine as well. So we have all the types. How much? Ooh. Get two samples of this as well. Okay. So we'll pop down here and we'll start growing some creep vine and some creep vine seed clusters. Now in this one, we're going to grow bulb trees. A bulb bush, which is basically it was the Koosh bush, but they changed it. Isn't it around 7 pm that? Yeah, it's uh it's like quarter to eight, and I don't know why I'm suddenly so tired. Welcome aboard, Captain. All I don't systems know. online. I don't know. I have literally no clue. I've already eaten, like it's not lack of food or anything, so I just feel super tired. Maybe it's aliens. <laughs> yes. That can be the only solution. Aliens. Right? No? Maybe? Uh mushrooms. Okay, uh, we'll grow some membrane tree, Gabe's feather, uh, ice stalks. I'll come back for some of these. Maybe your sleep schedule is trying to adjust itself. I don't know. I, I just feel super tired. I don't. I don't know why. I, I don't think it is. Like I, I had enough sleep last night. It should, it should be fine. I don't know. I'm really tired. I, I don't have any mental illnesses. I, I just, I'm just really tired. I don't know why. Maybe, um, maybe I'm gonna get ill soon? I don't know. Maybe the game's aliens are hypnotizing me. Maybe. You never know. It's growing! Grow, my pretties, grow. Grow and all magnificent things. Yes. Hang on, let me just, uh, it's so awkward to place these things. I can never get them right. They always be at some like weird angle. Patched it today just for you. Maybe it's the brand new uh, Sleep Leviathan. Maybe it is. It's a Sleep Leviathan. That's exactly what's causing this problem. Okay. Just admit this. Just... Right. Hang on. There. That'll do. That'll do. Maybe I should go wash my face or something. Maybe that'll wake me up. Just a bit. Just a tad. We'll grow one of these. There we go. Right. Um. Look at them growing. Lovely. Uh, is there anything else we need to grow? I'll check the uh, other ones. Do you want to play Ark? Yes, you do. I'm answering for you. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna put um, all the gel sacks we have down as well. I want that tray full of gel sacks. Um, 
Anything else? No? I don't think you can grow a table coral. It's not a thing you can do. Uh, it's a very angry sand shark. Right, I'll just take this because apparently I missed it a long time ago. Right. Okay, I'm going to put the other gel sacks in here. I know that's all our gel sacks, but you can actually um, hit them twice. Uh, and you get some... Oh my god, you can hit them more than twice. Because it used to be you hit it once. And uh, then... It's... So I'm taking all these seeds. And now I've got all these seeds for it. So like I said, I wanted this one pretty much full of gel sacks. Nice. And when that grows, we can take we can take them, you know? Hums the epic arc theme song. Do 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 Ow ow you bloody biter I'm going to scan you bastard I'm going to scan this goddamn biter uh, so you can join Sarah, trip shrooms and get robbed. Get robbed. Trip shrooms. <laughs> Where the hell did you go? I'm going to cut you. I will cut you. I have a knife. And I will cut you. Bitch. Aha! Oh, you cheeky bastard. You wanna you wanna tango? Hmm? Hmm? You want you wanna you want to go for a bit of a tango, don't you? Oh, fuck you, then. With the fish. Is it dead yet? I think it's dead. I think it's dead. All around me are familiar faces Going nowhere Going nowhere Do 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 <laughs> what if it keeps going up above the water when it gets to the top? Oh, it's still it's still floating. Just stop! Oh, come on! You could have at least made it all the way to the bloody top. <laughs> it's still moving. Going nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> We've got 10 minutes until the sunbeam arrives, I should probably get ready. Uh, we'll be coming back here, by the way, to pick up some of the, um, like, the crops. Uh, we'll just pop in the sea moth. Sorry, the evil Barry. And, uh, should be good. I wonder what the biters taste captain. like. Are they better fish? I don't know. Are they biter fish? Oh dear. I think that's better. Bad, bad pun. So it is uh, National Pun Day, apparently. Okay, National Pun Day. I don't know who makes these names up for days and why there are so many different days for everything, um, but it's UK National Pun Day today, so... Happy Pun Day, everyone, even though it's Monday. Uh, Alright, so the evil Barry is now in the evil Larry, and we need to make an evil Harry. Right. Let's go to the uh, Sunbeam landing platform. Let's not crash into our mobile vehicle bay either. We might crash into the dead uh, biter though. I'm going to have that song in my head for a while now. It's like I've had the evil Morty song from Rick and Morty in my head. I don't know what we just crashed into but it's probably a fish. I've had that in my head for the past few days, because uh, when, when I was at um, Snappy C's house in Scotland, uh, someone put it on at a party, and uh, I've just had it in my head since. Um, I was cleaning my room, uh, my bedroom, last night, or yesterday during the day, and I just had it on, on like repeat whilst I was cleaning. Currently I have uh, the Going Nowhere song thing in my head, and I haven't got the Evil Morty song in my head yet. But that's because I've currently got one in my head. I'm trying not to replace it with another one. Okay. Oh, now I've just remembered it. Oh, 
Yeah, I remembered it now. It's so, so like, um, it's like, it's like really, like, chilling and eerie, yet epic. It's a good song. It's pretty good. Oh, oh my, what do we have here? This appears to be a life pod. It'll probably be in here, but life pod three. Yeah, I think we have. It's like where the sea glide was. However, I've just realised in this area there should be a laser cutter tool. There's a wreck near here. Uh, roughly. I think it's like. I'm not sure where I am. So there's the life pod, there's Doom Tobia. So the wreck should be uh somewhere in like one in this biome. I don't know where though. Anyway, seven minutes until the landing. Or is it? Okay. Normally um you won't be able to see many fragments well from above here. What's going past? I don't know why I'm looking this way as well. There are easier ways. Okay, so that'll be the uh, floating underwater island. So we'll be approaching the mountain biome very soon. So you can see it when you're underwater, but when you go above water, there we go. Now you can see it. Yeah, maybe have another version of Mad World sung by the friend of a friend. I see. Uh, what did I miss? When the mayor wanted to slash the budget. He turned to fun a fundraiser. <laughs> fundraiser. I uh, see. Oh dear. The the leech applied for the art position because he was good at drawing blood. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> hey, welcome back, Matt. How you doing? All right. We need to get a good uh, good view of this place. All right, we can probably swim to the shore from here. All right, we're kind of thirsty as well, so. Let's have some water. Vital signs stabilizing. Uh, we're gonna take. I'll leave one emergency water here. I'm gonna have some more balance before we go. So, oh. grab those three. Nom, nom, and nom. Then we're gonna pop these back. One, two, two, two. Some bulbul trees on the beach, which we can help ourselves to, to as well. To do. Help ourselves to, to. Yes. Right. Uh, I'm lost. It's this way. There we go. Put loads of chilies in your in your tea. See. Sunbeam landing site. We're gonna have a good view of this. I remember last time I came here with a. Uh, it was either the last time I was either really early or really late. I remember one time I was really really late and I had to watch it from um, the water really far away. And another time being really early, I was waiting around for 10 minutes doing nothing. But I think we arrived at just the right amount of time. We're not in a rush to go and get anything, we're pretty good. Just gonna get another couple of bubble tree samples. Perfect. Right. Let's, uh, let's examine the sunbeam, uh, Landing site. Rar. What are you going rar for? So, it's planning to land here. Next to this. Hmm. What's the worst that could happen? I'm gonna find a really good spot to watch this. You know what? Oh god, it's crashing. This is actually a very good spot to watch this. Oh, look at that sunset. That's nice. You know what? I'm gonna take a screenshot. That's a really nice sunset. Hmm. And now we wait. Ooh, look at that tower. 
Well, it's not a tower. And we're going to see what's going to happen. I know what happens. Uh, a lot of you guys will know what happens. So I'm not going to, but some of you won't know what happens. So I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to sit back, relax, and watch the show in three minutes time when it happens. How come you didn't see this in the game? You have to actually listen to the um, messages. It doesn't trigger if you don't listen to them. And certain messages only trigger when you do a certain thing, so... This should be fun. Oh... In 2 minutes 36 seconds... It looks like... A gun. Well, funnily enough... This building is called the gun. Though I did see it before on stream, yes. And it'll be coming in from over there and attempting to land on the beach just here. And now we wait. It's quite dark. Just, uh... A minute and a half. <laughs> We're a little bit early. Just hold that for two minutes. Just, just stay here for two minutes. It's all good. Just chilling. Killing some time. One minute, 12 seconds. Drink some tea. A minute. We're gonna do a countdown when it gets to 10. Oh, it's exciting. Build the hype, we need the hype. Show me the hype. Show me what you got. In the meantime, look at this giant ass um, moon. Just chilling. Popping by really quickly in the sky. Oh, 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 it's happening. Guys, it's happening. Survivor, we see you. Man, I don't know how you held out down there. We broke an atmosphere, and we're descending towards the landing site. Is that a building down there? What do you mean you can't identify it? There it is. Hold on. No turning back now. Positions, everyone. Touching down in 10, 9, 8, eight 7. Oh, oh, oh. It's coming from the building? Change course. Set thrusters to full. Oh, shit! They're dead. So we survived that other crash, so. Aw, oh, just in time for sunrise. With a pretty explosion. Shame those people died. Oh shit. Oh. 
Well, now we know what happened to the Aurora. Yep, it's like, and let that be a lesson to a lot of you. No chicken escapes from Tweedy's farm. <laughs> you love the smell of blow up starship in the morning. Hmm. Smells like destruction. Right, let's go. I, I'm pretty sure the sunbeam isn't coming to save us anymore. So, just gonna. Maybe we can. If we attach enough of those birds together, maybe we could form like a, make a, a spaceship or something. No? And the Degassi. Yep, that's what happens to the Degassi too. Do I hear a Reaper? Oh, that's one which is really loud and just keeps making the noises even if you're not even that close to it. Reaper noises. There's a buggy fan where you can fly in the flying, flying fish. You can do that. Or well, it's a could a few patches ago. Maybe a few months ago. Don't worry guys, we'll just go wait for the sunbeam. Hmm. I don't think the sunbeam's going to be coming back. Considering it just blew up. Why, why does Matt keep going raw? What, 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 what happened? Systems online. Well, they're dead. What should we do now? For some, for some reason I suddenly want to watch Red Dwarf. Hmm, okay. Um... Right, we've got some lead and we've got some titanium. Let's put that back. Uh, we could go get some more stuff, but we do need some more lithium. We do need some more lithium, so pop some of the titanium back. And this lead. He's drunk, of course. Pretend to be a leviathan chasing me, I see. Um, do the bar. Do the bar. Do it. Right. Well, they're dead. Let's go. Just uh, pop down here. Uh, ooh, I spy some titanium. Let's go grab some. Huh? Pop down here. And it all should be fine. I mean, we did just see some people blow up. It's not quite fine, but... I mean, we did survive the explosion. Maybe they survived too. You never know. Ooh, is this, is this Mesmer Hall? No, it's not. There's a hall where um, there's some Mesmer, but there's a lot of uh, sandstone as well. It's near here. Not quite here, though. There's some bone sharks around here, too. I'm the gun. Okay. Uh, I think the Mesmer Hall's just over here. No? Okay, let's head back to uh, Evil Larry and Evil Barry. We need to get started on making Evil Harry. So, ooh. Gimme. And we also need a power cell charger. We definitely need a power cell charger. It's not ideal to charge up power cells inside the Cyclops. You can't do that anymore. Um, because it's broken. It's basically infinite power. So, oh, well, well, well. Is that a mobile vehicle bay? It is. Oh, won't say no to a bit of titanium. Do you remember how long we were searching for those for? Bloody ages, and we could never find any until we found them, and then we found loads more. For everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. Ow, ow, mouth and fuck. Well, you did say you put a lot of chilies in it. So, you know. Might hurt a bit. Oh, can make a wiring kit. Uh, Alright, let's um, make some titanium. How much titanium do we pick up? Okay, we do need to get another titanium ink for the one we used. Oh, we could just make two more. Why not? Why not? Oh, and the things should be growing by the time we get back to our base. What can we make? What's this? Pipes. Okay. Um, we'll just drop some stuff off now. Uh, titanium. Pop that in here. Uh, salt. 
silk. We do need some more water as well. So I've got one tit ingot, so two titanium ingots here. Uh, silver. So I'm hit by sun tightness again. Uh, lead. Excuse me. Uh, and we've got some salt. We put the salt in the salt chest. I'm gonna work on getting some lo loads more um, water. Now, right, let's go. What if we can find that uh, wreck? Or we're on our way back? Because I'm pretty sure it's like somewhere over there, like that way. Hmm. It spawned at a level 100 Carno at you. Well, that's not good. That's the opposite of good. That's actually quite bad. I'm sure there's like a mini wreck um, in one of these biomes. And I used to be able to find laser cutter fragments all over them. However, all the stuff for the wrecks has been moved, so I don't actually know where they are anymore. Hmm. So there's a lot of titanium over here. Start heading this way. I'm pretty sure there's a wreck somewhere near here. Like a little one, just a tiny one. How close are we to Doomtopia? Okay. I oh, used to be able to find. Oh, hang on. What's this? What's a sea glide? I think. Okay, keep looking. We also don't want to crash into anything. Ah, there it is! Knew there was one around here. Ha. Right. Okay. I used to be able to find um, laser cutter. Oh, that's. Huh? It's happened again. It's brilliant how you just get samples from inside the Cyclops. It's broken. I've reported this one several times, so I don't. I don't need to report it again. But. Bloody hell. Usual arc experience, a welcome ritual. Yes, get murdered by a really high level dinosaur. Hmm. Alright. Oh, there we go. Oh no. It's haunted. I am creep vine. Okay, fine. Right, let's uh, give a hedge and make some more. Wait a second. Ah, well, I guess I'll eat it. Because it is edible. Uh, wait, no, I need to get out, didn't I? Let's do that. We'll just pop outside and all should be good. Oh no, don't try to kill me. I don't want to die. Oh no, I can't get in without a thingy thing. Or can I? Let's find out. Join in next time. You know, I really want to play Fallout 3 right now, to be honest. I, I really just want to play Fallout 3. Just really, really. Hang on, I know there's a- Aha! There you are, you cheeky bastard. I knew there's another way in. Alright, a mobile vehicle bay fragment. Uh, ooh, an abandoned PDA. Into the box or the one? PDA data. Hmm. What is that? I don't even know what that is. Uh, but there doesn't appear to be any. Something's angry. Yes, yeah, this is the other way in. Uh,. We've got plenty of oxygen though, so there's no worry. Just pop out this way. We'll still no um, laser cutter tool. So, let's go check the surrounding area. Just to make sure that we're not missing any important things. I mean, I could Google where to find it, which biome and whatnot. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Ooh. I think. I think a stalker's trying to kill me. Hang on, don't we need stalker teeth? 
We do need stock teeth, don't we? For some enameled glass. Enameled glass. Glass which is enameled. Oh, it's a mobile. See, how, I can't believe how long it took us to find a mobile vehicle bay. Fragment thing. Too long. It took us too bloody long. Just keep looking and hopefully they'll drop some teeth. Hopefully. Give me your teeth. Give them to me. Teeth me. Uh, you're like more hench, like a hench vine, but you are creepy. I give you that. <laughs> creepy hench vine, yes. All right, Um, where the bloody hell are the teeth? You know, I've not breathed in a while. I should probably do that. That's actually quite low down, isn't it? Give me your teeth! Give me your teeth. Show me your teeth. Teeth. Give me them. Nom nom nom. Alright, we'll, we'll try and find some teeth. I'm sure we'll find some. Eventually. Uh, we do have a fair bit of titanium now, though. Stupid creep vine. Okay. So we're gonna get this titanium. Over here. Titanium. I really want to play Fallout 3. I'm not even kidding, I really, really, really want to play it right now. Why? Why? Too, too creepy. Too much vine, please. Okay, let's fall. Oh, this is ridiculous. It's just silly now. It's very silly. We've got a bunch of fibre mesh, so we'll put that away as well, wherever that goes. So this is what happens when you have to park in a, in a, uh, a vine? No. Kelp forest, that's the one. I keep forgetting the names of everything. Oh shit, there's actually a salt chest. Uh, I'll put these away. Yes. Um, if we can find some more uh, common coral, uh, we can use them to make water. Hey James, welcome back to the stream, how you doing? Nice to see you again. Do you accept help on how to find things? If you can tell me where the new location of the... Um... Laser cutter things are, that would be great. Because I can't seem really to find any of them. I can't seem to find them at all. They're missing. They're gone. Hmm. Shall make some water. It was fun Fallout 3 to be kind of a bore fest. Apart from the subways, those were creepy as hell. See, I love Fallout 3. I just want to make a new character and just go play that, but I'm playing this with and I said I would, so. But I'm really tempted to stop playing this and play Fallout 3 instead. <laughs> really tempted. But I said I'd play Subnautica, not Fallout 3. But I want to play it. <laughs> You ever have that feeling where you just like, you're playing one game but you really have your mind on a different one? I don't know how to play Fallout 3. Such a fun game. You're starting a new place where I see. Uh, yes, we did. Uh, this one was made after it launched because a lot of things in the world changed. Um, yeah, yeah. The things are broken. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Why did that? Oh, because it's a raid. I was, I was wondering that why that triggered at uh, anything which was less than six. But not that I don't appreciate anything which is less than six. It's just like, if everyone was able to press the host button and then just do that, then it kind of defeats the point. Um, but the, the raid is always that one. I suppose anyone could press the raid button and then... Or does it have to be streaming first? I don't know. I'm calling it a bit close here. I should not have gone this way. It's very... Eh. Why did I go this way? Ah! Just play what you will have fun with. If you're not feeling subnautical, then play Fallout. I really want to play Fallout. I really do. I can't even see. Where am I even going anymore? Okay. Right, I'm heading towards Doomtopia. I should not have gone in the shallows. Here we are. 
But we need some more uh, table core samples as well. Alright. Well then, ooh, look what's grown. Okay. Uh, how's our inventory space? Seems good. Right, let's go grab some stuff and see what we need for upgrades. So, I'm gonna pop over no, this way. I'm gonna pop over here, and we're going to. Ooh, would you look at this? I'm gonna chop this row and then take the other row. I'm gonna take all these ones, okay? So put all these back here. I've got four of them. See? So we have slightly more than we did before. But we have one, two, three, four, five, six, six more than we had before. Hey Alice, welcome back to the stream. How are you doing? Apparently we've not scanned a blood vine, yet we've successfully grown one. Hmm. One and a half hours per game seems good. I mean we could play some Fallout 3. I would absolutely be down for playing some Fallout 3. I, re I really would like to do that. Would you guys be very angry if I switched the game to Fallout 3? Or would you be like, yay, Fallout 3? Or would you be like, bitch, bitch, I don't want to watch Fallout 3. I, I, will, I will leave a very angry review on Yelp if you play Fallout 3. Or... Oh, what, 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 what's your thoughts on the matter? Because I am completely down for playing Fallout 3. All systems online. All systems online. All systems online. I want to make some benzene. Ooh, Aerogel is that and Ruby. Huh. Okay, let's make some benzene. You won't fall out 3 over it. <laughs> no point in playing something you don't want to. Something I don't want to play, um, Subnautica. I do enjoy Subnautica. But right now, I've just got my heart set on Fallout 3. And I want to make a really evil character. I want to make the most evil of characters. I would be completely down for that. Uh, if we get some fibre mesh, we can make some synthetic fibres. Get some rubies, we can some aerogel. We're here to put, support the stream in the game. I don't know, I mean, there's maybe at least five people who are here, only here for Subnautica. Um, they might be like, Ah, oh, oh my god! What the bloody hell are you doing playing a not Subnautica game? I only came here for Subnautica. I am outraged that you would play something different. Ah! That, is that because some people, some people don't, I mean, that's fair enough. Some people don't like some games and I do play Subnautica quite often. So they might be like, hey, hang on. I thought you only played Subnautica all the time. Then I, I can't play Subnautica all the time. I'd go insane. Are you playing story? I am doing the story as well. Uh, also, how are you doing, this, Stefan? Welcome to the stream. Let's go make a whole bunch of aerogel. Because why the hell not? Why the hell not? Well, then, um, I'll play this for like another five minutes. And then uh, we'll um, pop over and play some Fallout 3. How does that sound? Because I am super excited to play a really evil character. Ooh, I like a bit of evil. You know, we're going to have like a completely amazing fun time playing an evil character. Like, normally, at the moment, like, recently I've been playing uh, characters which are kind of, like, neutral. I, I won't go full good, normally. They're normally, like, neutral, but, like, they'll do some evil things, but they're generally good. I want to be an evil bastard. <laughs> oh, that'd be so fun. I haven't played a fully evil character in so long. You know what? That could be fun. That doesn't sound like me at all. What? I am going to... Uh, press buttons in disgust if you change the game. No? That, that's not you? Okay. Hands up. Who wants me to play Fallout 3? Who would be happy watching me play Fallout 3? Hands up if, you, if, you're, if you're for that. And if you're not for that, um, uh, write F. If you don't want me to play Fallout 3, press F. And then send enter. Uh, if you do want me to play Fallout 3, if you're happy with me playing Fallout 3 to stay for that, put your hand up. Okay, let, let me know. And your time starts now. Oh, we've got one hand up. That, that's it, <laughs> just one hand. One person who won't be absolutely outraged at me changing the game. I put my hands in the air. I don't know how that song goes, I just said it like that because I don't know how it goes anymore. 
for that semi as well. We'll stay either way. Just give us good for it. All right. That's three so far, so we've got three people guaranteed. <laughs> You'll see that I already read that one. Uh, what am I doing? I've forgotten what I'm doing. Ducks are people too. Yes, ducks are people too. Well, maybe. Are they? Are they? Are they really? Um. I've forgotten what I'm doing. Hmm. I can't remember what I'm doing. Anyway, um, I think uh, we'll probably switch over to Fallout 3 now because I've completely forgot what the hell I'm doing. Uh, so if you are if you um, want to stick around, I will just be closing down the stream and open it up again uh, and immediately, like, literally within 30 seconds of it stopping. Um, just so that the VOD is separate. Uh, but uh, we'll, we'll be literally straight back on. So uh, if you if you are new to the stream and uh, you do like Subnautica and uh, you, 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 you're you okay with, I don't know, just, just hit follow. <laughs> just, just hit follow. And I'll see you guys in just a few seconds for some Fallout 3. Oh, I'm excited. I'm good. All I have to do is uh, shut down the stream, change the game title and uh, tweet it out. But I can tweet it out when I start, so uh, I'd, I'd, all I have to do is close down the stream, change the game title, open it up again, and then tweet it out. It's, it's all good, it's all good. We'll play some Fallout 3. Very evil character. Oh, I've missed Fallout 3. Okay, so thank you much everyone. I'll see you guys in about a minute for another stream. So yeah. Uh, never said anything about a port. I, I know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but we have to, I have to stop the stream very briefly. So I'll see you guys in just about a minute for some Fallout 3. And season bye everyone.